my people no be small oh hey when i know say milo when they put ghana pepper i've been a cut on new pepper cameroon pepper for nigerians they are they will do they now don't carry <laughs> aboniki rob solid one raw one you don't put for me look on eye come drag and go united nation my people now go watch and no be small hey hey make a first of all throw away salute how now they <laughs> may not be like say rude my people no be small oh this matter he you get a go be oh hey united nation when i know say in short my first given her the small updates when i know say a milokon and then they video they they know they use her i see they know even one use i see him now you can reveal almost 50 years secret of a milokon give nigeria what tick carry now they be fine boy for chicago so hey hey wahala 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 a milokon now don't they after the video they according to ram i don't drop one video like when come and they cry out say so that they send people to cry up and down you understand say so now he can't carry the matter go united nation tell them how he use expose he can't expose martin so give united nation then he can't talk how a miloko can they plan they go meet ghana uh, government them say me then deport and ghana government don't give an asylum for the hour say me then deport and come nigeria so they go see chance hold on what we do i'm a them go buy them. Now they cry when they cry with that. He can't carry the matter. Go the 54 uh, United Nation uh, United Nation Human Rights Section. What they do for Geneva? My people, my let's now watch this video. The matter, eh? He get a CBO. <laughs> Chicago State matter day dear. We never even finish. Now nah, now nah, United Nation. Hi. Every in short, this Emilio you know, matter don't go worldwide now. No be no be waiting with the no be, no be asked with the thing. My people, my let's now watch the video. You know what? When you finish, let me just share this video. Leave your comment. Share this video. What is it from beginning to end? May you drop your comment. This one, I, uh, will be Dati TV. Now then, drop this update for us. Mona, watch. For joining us the other day on David Hundain, because uh, in as much as he is um, hiding from one place to the other, David Hundain is uh, one of our greatest of this our time. He has spearheaded this movement and has brought hidden things. To all of us for over 200 million nigerians to know what lies beneath what was left behind in 1999 but anyway make i not speak this grammar too much make we listen to waiting uh this thing because we get our own marks already join us for zoom but before we go join the conversation or greet everybody make we for here as they be doing they in they talk this is life when they threatening to united nations life so all the cries when we cry go out to the world say that they hear us they don't hear us then don't grant some audience in don't talk to them. Maybe we hear as they take this course and for United Nations. Let's take a listen. Thank you for the opportunity to speak at the 54th session of the UN Human Rights Council. As an investigative journalist from Nigeria, my work primarily focuses on advancing transparency and accountability in government. I have repeatedly used my journalistic platform to expose and publicize malfeasance and criminal behavior by powerful people in Nigeria, most recently the new Nigerian president, Bola Tinobu. An individual whose FBI file of over 2,500 pages is set to be released publicly for the first time next month. And who has, as a matter of public record, forfeited $460,000 to the United States government being proceeds of heroin trafficking. Due to my journalistic work, his regime has taken extraordinary steps to silence me, including a recent attempted abduction from Ghana where I have political asylum. The Tinubu regime is currently trying to prevail on Ghana, which historically is a close ally of Nigeria, to violate the non refoulement principle and have me return to Nigeria, where I would almost certainly face imprisonment, torture, and extrajudicial execution. To save my life and the important work that I do, I have been forced into a semi-nomadic lifestyle, barely sleeping in one place for a prolonged period of time. In fact, it is from one of these temporary locations that I am filming this message. Now, under Article 19 of the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights, freedom of expression is a fundamental human right. And as a journalist, I must be able to do my work without living in fear or living on the run, simply because I'm doing my job. Thank you. Okay, so we don't hear that we don't dare in the cry, go United Nations, and go soon bring the full um, uh, video where all the discussions will be said in home for that very place and how it take go. But maybe we welcome our UC Max or Wedens to make it join us uh, for this very discussion, especially as our brother uh, don't carry cry, go there, all the talk where we don't talk, don't reach United Nations, and then don't prevail to grant an audience making talk how uh, it take them and waiting in the, waiting the pursue them. Um, Maxwell, I beg, make you uh, welcome to the show. Join the conversation with us on this issue as we the uh, idea other things. Okay, um, good evening uh, to everybody here and um, the people at the studio and everybody listening. It's a pleasure to speak here today. 
about the um, daily, daily situation, it's actually unfortunate that um, a person who is a citizen of Nigeria has to go through, you know, different kind of um, unpleasant conditions and conditions that threaten his citizenship and also threatens his safety. Um, David today is just one of many others who have been made to suffer the um, effects of bad governance and oppression and stifling of the media. Remember that the 1999 constitution as amended guarantees that you know there shall be free but press and everybody shall have the right to you know most of the to speech, the freedom of speech. Friends. But the Nigerian children government, that, because of political um, political benefits and many others, have decided to speak through the press. That. For David Udeni, um, he's just an individual who has tried to see that truth and facts are put out to the general public. And, and even though his life is being threatened at this point in time, it is our hope and prayer that, like you know, he would be, will be safe. Um, anybody so who can actually help to ensure that, you know, he is not made to suffer some of all these things that Nigerian kind of politicians are ready to bring upon him. You know, he's just one of many. There are others who have been, who have gone missing. There is that Yata from um, that's Kabul states who just disappeared just like that and cannot be traced. Many other media personnel who are making sure that it comes with safe um, democracy. It, it gives me pleasure that um, his voice has gotten louder than it was. And I do hope that um, he is able to get justice and safety. Uh, thank you for what you uh, talk. And um, we want to make we uh, the show now how uh, David and uh, all the United Nations people, how they gather for Geneva and all the talk will be say they talk for that very place for our brother. So make everybody know say they cry where would they cry and they talk where would they talk no day in vain. You know, every branch of government let us uh, down in this very side. We know other one, but uh, we continue to the talk and we continue to the push. And when they see the result, we we'll be say they come out. So uh, we the thank United Nations as in they deliberate on uh, the issue of uh, David Hundein's threat to life. He was very clear with them of who is threatening his life. He was very clear with them on what he brought about uh, Tinubu. Uh, he brought all the past to them and they explained it in detail as you heard from him. So we thank. Um, the people, as we know, say they go do the right thing, and even talk say the place will be saying they, they even they shoot this very video saying a remote location because they don't begin to look for them for Ghana, make them for Kari and come Niger. But God, no go agree that want to happen for them. So we'll continue to pray for them and we'll continue to put pressure on all the leaders across the world to make sure that those things their, their plans does not come to fruition. With that very one, we'll still come back to um, that very particular video and uh, the talk where whom they in talk for United Nations and all the people will be saying, and I go see them for screen as in they, they, they write down everything will be say then talk because now for Zoom, he join. Even lawyers right to watch Canada join. Many people will be saying across the world join for the talk where the, our own David whom they in talk. So it'll be small matter, it be. That's why we they tell them and say uh, things go change. Say hope day. If we they talk, 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 time go reach, will be say the people were supposed to take action go take action with that very one we'll come back to um uh, this very matter maybe we go quickly to other things when we say they happen now we hear say i think abu bakar don't they prepare in paper may go uh, give the district judge where we say it there for the northern district of illinois where he go find uh, that very response to tunibu's claim where he talks irreparable damage say in life they threaten all that one go comfort but we expect make our own person when we say it there chicago um make it forgive us the waiting they happen for that side so why would they wait for and make it give us update for waiting they happen and uh, to send us the document make we know waiting and waiting where article reply am uh, we'll go to other things where they happen and we hear another one where they say uh if they come out where um jackson would day nine tweet and say uh chinubu don't they hire lawyers and the lobbyists say now either jewish, jewish american yeah. uh, say make the, the say the man make them go for persuade or pressure i don't know whether the intimidation there inside sha all but, of them join okay all of them join say make them go begin the put pressure for uh judge uh, nancy yes. madonado make uh, she for prevail for him but i'm not sure say those people they, whether they think say that they like nigerian judges at the haruna um, but anyway, let's see how the thing there for screen now. Now from Jackson Uden, I don't want to come out. He said, Chinubu moves to compromise U.S. judge, hires top Jewish American lawyer, lobbyist, offers million uh, slash crude, that is crude oil. Now, what did they come right for inside? He say a desperate baller Chinubu has agreed to hire a well-known Jewish American lawyer and Washington-based lobbyist to pipe pressure on John Nancy Madonado. 
of the U.S. District Court, Northern District of Illinois, to delay her judgment bill for Friday or Monday next week or rule in his favor to block the release of his academic records from the Chicago State University. According to Jackson, he said Tinubu left New York Thursday last week after attending the Yonga and arrived Paris where he had been strategizing with a notorious Gilbert Chogri on how best to deal with his academic scandal, threatening his presidency. Jackson Uday further said that after a series of meetings and phone calls to lobbyists and lawyers in the U.S. at about 10 p.m. Paris time yesterday, Tinubu agreed to pay the U.S. Bay Jewish American lawyer millions of dollars in addition to crude oil to get George Maldonado to favor him in her expected ruling. George Maldonado had scheduled to rule on whether or not to tow the line of magistrate Judge Jeffrey Gilbert who ordered a release of Tinubu's academic records and a deposition of ofi officials of the Chicago State University. The fear of being exposed for committing forgery and fraud coupled with the FBI plan release of 2,500 pages of his criminal history has kept Chinubu worried and desperate to survive. Wow. This thing where they come out from um, Jackson. That desperate Nobody's to survive thing. comes with my heart. Okay, desperate to survive. <laughs> yes, now, nah, personally, they push you like this. I'm going to deny they're wrong. Nah, grab and nah. But, okay, grab and uh, mm -hmm. wrong with it. Okay, I understand.